also have Lord Strasberger, who is here and a very keen supporter of this movement. Lord Strasberger, and what's what's your opinion on where we're at right now? And given the support for a touring passport um, for artists, musicians in the cultural sector, what needs to give and what needs to happen next? Well, um, thank you, Andrew. Can you hear me OK? Yeah, good. Well, the Lib Dems are massive supporters of the creative arts sector, and they always have been. And there's a group of about 10 Lib Dem Lords who have been very busy working to fix this touring disaster. We've raised this issue in the Lords about 20 times this year, and we'll be doing it again next Thursday. I organised the letter to the Times uh, about this problem uh, in January that was signed by 160 leading artists from classical music, rock, pop, jazz, as well as leading figures from the industry. Uh, but we mustn't forget that this doesn't just affect musicians. This is a catastrophe for the army of people who support them and depend on them for employment. And as we've heard, it's, it's way more than music. It's dance, theatre, film, fashion, even exhibitions and conventions. So I recently went to the man at the top and confronted David, now Lord Frost, in a private meeting about this catastrophic no-deal Brexit for our world-beating creative sector. He blamed it all on the EU, predictably, but not very convincingly, I have to say. I said that it was his failure and it was him that turned down the EU's offer during the negotiations that looked good to the industry, especially compared with where we are now. He said that it breached the government's manifesto pledge to stop freedom of movement. Well, I pointed out that it's not an immigration issue as he's painting it, it's about short-term employment for strictly limited professions. Um, and it's, it's about our 111 billion pound, billion pound a year industry that is being hobbled by being left out of the trade deal. And so we better get on with sorting it. And I'm afraid it was politics that's caused this mess and the only way out of it is gonna have to be political. The UK government has got to go to Brussels and negotiate a cultural exemption on visas, work permits and cabotage. And this government won't climb down easily off its sovereignty high horse until it's really pushed. So the only way to make that happen is to work together and turn up the wick on the carry on touring campaign and others like it and make this a serious public embarrassment for Mr Johnson so that he has to make another U-turn and he's had a bit of practice at that. And to complement this campaign, I'm planning uh, some major publicity involving A-list artists and maybe a big pan-European gig involving a mix of big stars and emerging artists who are, of course, um, the, worst, the worst hit by this. And we must keep going with this campaign. We're on the side of the angels and we have access to a huge army of fans to help us. We can and we must succeed. Thank you very much, Lord Strasberger. And thank you very much to all of our parliamentarians there for taking the time to contribute today. Um, it's very important. As we said, this is a politics aside, this is a very, very human issue that's going to imp that impact the livelihoods of thousands of people across countries and across all um, different elements of culture. So thank you very much for being involved because cross-party collaboration is the only way out of this now.